Hello, people of social media. Welcome to my first ever video. Where I'm gonna be showing you uh, the products I used for this face and kind of just reviewing them a little bit and a little unboxing of some Too Faced and MAC products and generally just talking a little bit of shit and being my weird little self <laughs> for those of you who don't know me I'm Sally and I've wanted to start a channel for a really long time um, but I've never really had the confidence to do it and then since we've been in lockdown I have kind of been a bit more not more vocal on social media but a bit more myself and kind of showing myself in ways that I haven't before like not being afraid to be a bit ugly or like a bit silly or creative uh, and people have responded well to it and it's kind of given me the confidence to to start doing this so yeah i hope you enjoy watching me do my face <laughs> i'm gonna be making a few more videos after this uh, about all manner of things girly talk makeup skincare videos of my dog like anything so uh, now I need to go and get drunk because I have a virtual zoom quiz so yeah I'll see you soon and enjoy my video and don't judge me too harshly uh, for being awkward <laughs> oh I'd also like to point out that I haven't yet figured out my angles so at the start of the video when I have no makeup on uh, like for most of that video actually for most of the coming video I look like <laughs> not great um, it's just you know my natural face and I don't really care I'm gonna embrace it you can see the double chin you can see my uneven teeth you can see I've got a bit of a bug eye at some points uh, acne but I think I'm just embracing it and other people should too and yeah and as well I'm not claiming to be a professional makeup artist or be amazing at makeup or whatever because I'm not it's just something that I enjoy doing and hopefully other people will enjoy watching me do it but if they don't I don't really care so yeah enjoy okay hi so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna unbox everything that i bought today which is a lot of Too Faced stuff i mean it's just two no no i've got Too Faced and mac so and then i'm gonna show you how i use everything so i bought this Too Faced primed and poreless primer i've never really used primers very much um I used to use a benefit one but it kind of my skin's kind of oily so it just instead of like blaring my pores it would like just kind of fill them in and make them look a bit weird make my skin look a bit dry yeah so I'm excited to see what this is and I love the packaging because it's spot I don't even know if you can see but it's like shimmery it's so nice I also bought Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer because I was using this NYX one which was about three quid and I've had it for like two years and it's all right it does the job but I wanted to treat myself and it's like it's the cutest friggin thing I've ever seen in my life look at it it's so cute it reminds me of Polly Pocket and it smells like chocolate it's so nice. Honestly, like Too Faced are literally just the best. Uh, yes, I'm very excited to use that. Um, I also got Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme because, as you can see, 
my lips are not the biggest. I've used this before and it's really, really good. And it's not like, it's not too glossy. Like I don't really like lip gloss that much, but this is like clear and just kind of subtle. And the plumpness lasts for ages as well. I also got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I've used for two years, maybe even three years. It's just, it literally is the best mascara I've ever used in my life. And again, oh, she makes noise. Um, it's really cute and pink and just gorgeous. Literally the most satisfying noise is when I also got the Better Than Sex Eyeliner, which is really good. It's like a felt pen, um, but I'm not using that yet because I haven't run out of this one. I actually think I have two other ones that have nearly run out in my makeup bag. <laughs> so I'm a bit of a hoarder. Uh, what else did I get? I got this Max, Max, Mac Fix Plus Magic Radiance All Day Hydrating Spray with Vitamin C. Um, I usually use Urban Decay setting spray, all nighter, a classic, but I nearly ran out and I thought, fuck it, I'll try something new. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. I feel like it might make me a bit shiny, but I don't know, we'll have to find out. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so, primed and poreless. It's supposed to create a flawless matte canvas for makeup. Okay, let's go for it. I don't really know how much to use. I'm just gonna, ooh. Here's what it looks like. It's like, just with its skin coloured. I'm just gonna smooth it off. Ooh, it smells really really nice I really want a good primer because I'm always bothered that my foundation looks a bit like patchy um, and like sometimes the pigmentation in my um, eyeshadow isn't too bright and I feel like primer might make it a bit better it feels really nice, it feels very, Oh, my skin feels so soft. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells really, really nice. Okay, this is like promising so far. Oh yeah. It definitely feels smoother. I'm not sure how well it's gonna work the foundation over, but we'll see. So the next thing I usually do is I use this, which is NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. And I usually use this in place of foundation um, because it's just like, it's kind of like tinted moisturiser but a bit more heavy, um, but it's amazing, it's so nice. Uh, but today I'm going to use it just as like a base and then I'll put a bit of foundation over so you can see. So I'd literally just treat it as a moisturiser so I'll just kind of whack it on. There's probably a better way of doing it but I just like to go for it. It does feel like it's going on smoother. Sometimes this goes a bit like a bit patchy. If my skin, well, I've got like proper combination skin, so sometimes it goes patchy and sometimes it just slides off because I get oily as well as dry as well as acne. So I'm really lucky in that respect. I mean, it looks a little bit better than usual. Definitely smoother. Like it just feels nicer on my face. I do have a little bit of, um, it's like it kind of, it looks like my skin's like a bit dry, but it's not. I don't know if you can see, but like around here and up here, it's like a bit bitty, but I think that might just be my skin. Um, but that, that's what usually happens when I when I use a primer. Hmm. 
Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm not an eyebrow specialist. I just use this Narcissist Loaded Palette, which I love. Um, my friend got it me for like my birthday about two, three years ago. Um, but I use it every single day, especially this one. As you can see, it's all gone. Uh, I use this dark brown for my eyebrows. Can't pronounce the name of it. I'm not gonna embarrass myself by trying to pronounce the French word. To do my eyebrows, I use this Too Faced brush, which is from the Mr. Right Eye Brush Pack <laughs> that I got for Christmas. It's just like an angled, stiff brush, um, but it's really good for eyebrows. So I don't really do anything special with them, to be honest. So I just kind of. I just follow my sh the shape, try and make them a bit more tidy. They really need plucking as well, actually, but we're in lockdown, so I don't really give a spook. It's weird, because I'm filming it, I feel like I'm probably under pressure to do them, so I feel like I'm, I'm taking longer than I usually do because I try, I'm trying to make it look like perfect. So just bear with me if I take friggin' ages, because I'm new to this. It's gonna be interesting to see, to watch this back myself and see, like, what my face looks like while I'm concentrating on my eyebrows. It's probably going to be really embarrassing. But, funny. This one's a bit more bushy than the other one. Like I said, I'm not great at eyebrows, to be honest. Um, I really want to get my eyebrows laminated uh, when I have the money. So I don't have to bother with them because yeah, I'm just I usually just leave them like this, which is probably a bit too dark for my skin tone because I'm so pale. But it's what I'm used to at the moment. So now I'm going to do my foundation. So I swear by Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is quite expensive, but so worth it because the bottle lasts for friggin ages and it's just the best, the best foundation I've ever used. Um, I think you can buy, it's a bit annoying because you have to like pour it out. Uh, that's why the bottle looks all manky but you can buy a pump but they're like five pounds and I'm just like, nah. Uh, so this is the brush I use for my foundation. Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face. It's kind of like like a stiff. Like it looks kind of like a kabuki brush, but small and stiff. So instead of pouring it out, because there's all this shit around the edge, I'm just going to use that. So I just kind of stipple a little bit on and then I buff it up. This is like this look that I'm doing is kind of a bit more than every day. Maybe like if I was going the pub or like if I was going out for a meal like a casual meal um, not quite night out makeup but not you know I wouldn't wear it to uni because it's a bit much for me but I am one of those people that does like to wear makeup every day because it makes me feel like awake like if I go to if I went to uni with no makeup on, I like noticed the difference in how awake I was and how like switched on I was. I feel like I just feel like my best self when I've got a face on. But to be fair, in lockdown I've done pretty well with not wearing a lot. I only really wear it in, in lockdown if I've got like a a Zoom quiz or 
something like that. Which I've got tonight actually, so this will do. Okay, that'll do. That's a bit camera ready. I don't really like to wear loads of foundation. Again, probably because I'm so pale. You can really tell that I'm wearing it. Or maybe I'm just not adventurous enough with it, but that's kind of the maximum amount that I usually wear. Unless I'm going to night out, which, you know, if I'm going to night out, I'll put a bit more on, but I'm really scared of looking orange. <laughs> okay, now, oh, now I get to use my beautiful new bronzer. I'm very excited. Oh, I literally cannot get over how fucking cute it is. Like, oh my god, it is so cute. <coughs> oh, sorry. Okay. The only downside of this is that it's kind of hard to open. Oh god. Especially if you, oh my god. <laughs> if you have long nails. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here it is. Chocolate Mac. Beautiful. And I use this kind of old MAC uh, bronzer brush, contouring brush, which I also got in a set like two Christmases ago. So I, I, like, I tend to buy quite extensive brushes so I don't have to get new ones all the time. Uh, like this one, I think I've had that for about three years and it's lasted so well. I should probably wash it more, but shouldn't we all? Okay, so let's give this a go. I hate like messing up a new like compact like I just I don't want those words to disappear because it looks so cute oh okay it's a bit dark <laughs> I'm not like hugely into contouring either I just kind of I like a little a little bit of a cheap burn but I'm not like proper sculpty I used to be, but can't really be asked anymore. Um, I usually put a bit under here too because I have a double chin and I like to try and disguise it a little bit and give myself a bit of a jawline. I'm scared of this, I'm scared because it's so like, it's very pigmented, which is good, but I'm used to that like I'm used to a, like a quite a cheap one, which isn't very pigmented, so I have to use quite a lot. So I think I might have gone a bit overboard. Yeah, and I, I have fallen for this trend of bronzer on the nose. I think it looks really cute. I like it. Hmm. Nice. I like it. You can definitely see where it's like all that spot. Oh my god, I forgot to put concealer on. Fucking hell. Right. I'm gonna do my concealer now, which I should have done. I usually do that before I do my eyebrows. <laughs> I told you I felt like I was under pressure. Okay. So, I used Too Faced concealer, born this way. And this one is shade Porcelain, which I think is the second lightest, but. I probably should have bought the lightest, but I like to deny my paleness sometimes. I feel like it doesn't matter that much that I've already put my foundation on, but I do usually do it. I don't wear that much concealer anyway. I feel like it's not even going to make that much difference. I just, yeah. Oh, and usually I cover up spots, that's what made me realise. <laughs> this is a really, really, really good concealer. Like, really good. I usually use, um, what is it, Lancome? Um, Lancome, like, Tainted All, I think it's called. Um, I used that for about two years before I got this one. And that one is the best that I've ever used. Uh, but this is, like, probably a close second. Like, the Tainted Doll one, the Lancome, is, like, very good for, for covering up, sp like, individual spots. Whereas this is good as, like, a 
if you just use it as a base um, or to highlight. Kind of messed up my bronzer now, but never mind. Yeah, that was a horrible noise. <laughs> bit of a sweep now. There we go. Okay. After I've done my concealer, I do usually use um, a powder. I've got this one that was about 99p, like a collection one. Um, it does the job. I use this big fat brush that I can't tell you where I got it from because it came in a set I got when I did a makeup course about five years ago. It's a bit shit actually, but it's it's alright for powder. So I just kind of I always put it on my lids because it makes a bit of base for eyeshadow. And then I put it in like areas where I get a bit shiny, which is nearly everywhere for me. There we go. Okay. So now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna just do like a kind of a pink look that's not not like a crazy pink look but like a just like a sweet little summery eyeball. So I'm gonna use Naked Cherry, which I'm obsessed with and I use every day. And Lime Crime Venus 3 palette, which is amazing. Like I'm such a sucker for nice packaging like this is just oh my god it's so magical i love it um this is the inside so nice this one's my favorite okay so i'm going to use the other mr right eye brushes from Too faced so this one is a large shader which i used to use for a base so i'm going to use shade dreamy and the Lime Crime palette for my base. And just whack it on. If I was going on a night out, I would spend a lot more time on my eyeshadow, but I'm going for a more subtle look right now. Well, as subtle as you can be with pink. So I just put that like all over and build it up a little bit. And then the, I alternate between the, the Mr. Right brushes and the, the brush that came in the Naked Cherry. Um, it's a really good brush. I usually use this end for like line it under my eyes a little bit and then this I use for like everything. So now I'm going to use shade Bing from the Naked Cherry, which is this kind of bright pink, uh, which is a bit darker than the other one I've just used. So I'm going to put that in the crease. And just blend it out a little bit. It's really weird that I'd actually have a qualification in makeup that I've never used. Um, I've got like I've got like a level three NVQ in fashion and photographic makeup, uh, which I did after I finished college before I went to uni uh, because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, and it was good, and I, I, it's good that I have that qualification to lean back on if I want, but not it wasn't like this kind of makeup it was like um like editorial or we also do bridal like gothic it was like theatrical kind of makeup um which wasn't really what i wanted to do but it was the only course available okay so 
Now I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to use Ecstasy, which is ooh, which is like the dark brown in this palette. Um, I'm just going to put that a little bit of that in the crease, just to like define a little bit more. Just a touch. You know, this look isn't very like, you know, it's more subtle, it's not like a quick crease or crazy neon all over. Um, but it's just what I do for the everyday when I can't be bothered spending more time like getting loads of colours and blending them. And just like quick quick and easy oh sorry and I'm using ecstasy again but with the smaller end of this brush just to put under the eye I'm sorry I keep burping I'm gross you know I just had a big glass of lemonade in the bath so forgive me Now I'm going to use, put that away, I'm going to go back to the Mr. Right brushes and I'm going to use uh, the small shader which is like a flat shading brush. I'm going to use Beam which is the shiny pink colour and I'm going to just put that in the inner corner uh, for a bit of a cute little highlight. And just kind of pack it on. It's a little bit like iridescent, which is really cute and like magical. When I was wearing this, like for the first time, my boyfriend was like, You're like a fairy. And I was like, Oh my god, <laughs> that's the nicest compliment I've ever had. It is my, my dream in life is to look like a fairy. <laughs> And then just as like a little final touch, I'm going to just highlight the tops of uh, my, my brow bone with a big blending brush. I'm going to use Rapture, which is this white shimmery, shimmery shade. Don't know why I can't speak. I have my eyes done. Now, liner. Sorry, my dog is barking. Rocky! Bubba! Stop it! What is it going? So now I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Eyeliner. Uh, eyeliner is like my staple because I never moved past 2012 so I still use a cat eye every day. Might take me a minute. Sorry if you can't see. I can't speak while I'm doing it otherwise I'll get it wrong. People have always like complimented me on my cat eye and been like, oh my god, like it's so hard to do, like I can't do a, a cat eye, like I always get it like, I always mess it up or whatever. Um, but my only advice is practice it loads because I've been doing it most days since I was about 12. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the only reason I'm good at it and as well and get a good eyeliner. This is so much easier to use than so many others that I've tried. So this is definitely worth the price. I think it's like 20 quid, but it's worth it. 
and it lasts for ages. My angles definitely do not match up, but I think if you either use false lashes or like a really like a really volumizing mascara, um, no one will know. And also, no one really cares. Like, no one's gonna look at you and be like, "Oh my god, hair, cat eyes, do not match up." Like, no one really gives a fuck. So. Embrace your mistake. Mm. See, like this one is this one is straight, and this one is like up there, but it's fine. There we go. Okay, now very excited to use my new mascara. I did. So I, like I said before, I've used this for years. I was using the other Too Faced one, that was, um, Damn Girl, and that was really good too. Um, I would recommend that, but for me, this is this just pips it to the post. Um, there's not really a lot I can instruct you on with this, babes. Just whack it on. I actually think the brush has changed since I last used it. I remember it being bigger. I think this is, this and Damn Girl are especially good for people who don't like to wear fake eyelashes. I never wear fake eyelashes just because I can't be bothered spending money on them. Um. And I have quite long eyelashes anyway, to be honest, but I would get extensions if I had the money, um, like if I had like the, sp like the money to spare, because it would be nice to like, you know, like I, I, I have visions of having like my brows laminated and like lash extensions and a tan and like not having to do anything, like that would be good, like if you're on holiday or something that would be good. Um, I'm not going to any holidays anytime soon. I'm actually meant to be in Spain right now. It's so fucking depressing. I'm meant to be in a rooftop pool with my boyfriend having fucking mojitos. Um, here I am in Southport. But hey ho! Now that I can compare the two mascaras, Damn Girl is definitely more volumising and this is more lengthening. This is good volume wise as well, but Damn Girl I think actually does more for, for the volume. Oh, I just cannot beat new mascara, I love it. Yeah, I'm really like laying it on by the way because this is quite like a cute, summery, girly look and I think big lashes go quite well with that kind of vibe. Okay, bourgeois. I use this really, really old <laughs> uh, bourgeois one. I don't even think bourgeois is going anymore. R.I.P. Uh, the fucking packaging words have all worn off because I've had it for so long um, but I just love it, it's so cute and I love love these little brushes I'm going to be so sad when this runs out and I can't get another one they're the cutest things ever I went through a really long phase of not wearing any blusher at all I, like I thought it was like really like 2000 uh, and outdated but now I've got way back into it I think it's really good for people, uh, fair skinned people as well. Like me, if I don't wear blusher, or if I don't have any kind of colour in my face, I look a bit dead. 
sometimes, especially today when I'm hungover. Um, again, I'm late, I'm quite a lot. Just to go with like the pink kind of girly vibe, and then I'm going to just put a little bit on the end of my nose. Now I'm going to do my lips, so I'm using a uh, MAC lip liner in um, Subculture. Sub I only discovered MAC lipsticks and MAC, I'm like really late to the party, I only discovered them like a few weeks ago. I've only had this for about three weeks. Sorry, I'm just warming it up. Does anyone else do this? <laughs> like, they don't work unless they're really warm. I used to warm up. I had this really shitty um, lip liner years ago. And it didn't work unless it was like melting. And I used to warm it up on the radio. Yeah. But I've got this to go with Honey Love lipstick by MAC, which is really, really nice. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put it on and show you. But it's also just, this is quite good just by itself or like with gloss. For me anyway, because it really matches my lip gloss. I colour in my lip gloss a little bit too. Here's a lipstick, MAC Honey Love. It is beautiful. Kind of brownie, pinky, mm, nipply kind of colour. Sorry, I'm really losing concentration. I need a new highlighter, so if anyone wants to recommend me one, then please do. Uh, I have this really old Topshop one that I, I use sometimes. I kind of like chop and change between highlighters. I've also got this sleek uh, one, which is like old and cheap, but really cute. It's like the blue one in the middle is like iridescent blue, and it's like really magical. Um, should I use this one? No. I'm going to use this, which is CLE Essence Moonlighter Cushion. Um, and I got this in a birch box last year. I've never used any other CLE stuff, but uh, this is really, really good. So it's like a little compact and it has a little brush. A really dirty brush. <laughs> and then you open it again, it's like a, sp it's like a sponge. And you just kind of dip it in and lock it on. It's quite a subtle highlighter, I think. Um, I do pile it on. Sometimes I use another one over the top. It's like liquidy and just nice and glowy. Obviously, it's highlighter. And you can't really see it that much on camera. But it's nice. Okay. Oh, now time to test out this setting spray. Do I have to shake it? An all day hydrating mist that nourishes the skin and improves radiance. Shake well. Hold bottle 12 inches away from face and spray even. Use before or after makeup. Is this actually going to set my face? Like, I need it to last through like a load of drinks and a quiz tonight. Just spray it on my hand. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, fucking hell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I'm like dripping. <laughs> I think I put a bit too much on. Oh, it smells like sun cream. 
Okay, I definitely put too much on. Oh my god, look at my chest. <laughs> okay, I think what I was doing is I wasn't pressing it down all the way. You know, like this, this bit. That's how much you're supposed to press it down, but I was like, boop, boop, boop. Okay, I look shiny AF. Um, I will just wait for that to dry a little bit. <laughs> Come on. But also because I, my face is now wet, but I do look quite um, nice and, and dewy. Oh yeah, I like it. I look a bit sweaty, like, but <laughs> maybe when it dries a bit more, it will be nicer. Um, yeah, I need to put a bra on. Oh, also this dress. If you feel the boobs, because I don't have a bra on right now, I don't look better with one on. Uh, it's from Pretty Little Thing, and it was thirty pounds. It's so cute. It's like stretchy and comfy, uh, and cute. I only got it today. Um, and it was sold out for ages on ASOS, and it came back, so I nabbed it. Where's my brush? I feel like I'm going to a party or something now. I fucking wish I was. I miss the outside world so much. My hair is very straight today because I dressed up as Gwen Stefani yesterday for a, for a Zoom party. I need a haircut as well, so, so bad. I miss my hairdresser. Like my hair isn't isn't very thick, and it's like naturally quite straight, but it gets so so knotty. It's really annoying. It always has, like since I was little. There we go. There we go. Here I am. This is my kind of go in the pub, <laughs> beer garden virtual quiz look hope you enjoyed my very first video <laughs> i'm sure i've been very awkward and strange but if you liked it please tell me uh or give me recommendations of anything else you'd like me to talk about i have actually quite enjoyed myself today so i will be doing more not all makeup related i'm going to be doing some like girl talks or like you can send me questions and I can help you I do love being a bit of a Jeremy Kyle I'm gonna review everything from like makeup fucking candles skincare body care music films people I'll be telling you some funny stories about my life too which I hope you all enjoy because I have done some embarrassing shit in my time. So yeah, see you all soon. And I hope you enjoyed watching me be weird. Okay, bye.